Hello everyone, this is Miss B. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss factoring polynomials when A is not equal to 1 using AC method. Here are the steps. Start by finding two numbers that multiply AC and add to B. Use these numbers to split up the X term, which is your middle term, and use grouping to factor the quadratic expression. Please support me by subscribing to my channel and don't forget to like and share this video and hit the bell button so that you will be notified for my next math tutorial videos. Let's have the first example. Factor 3p squared minus 2p minus 5. Step 1, start by finding two numbers that multiply AC and add to B. So what is A? A is the leading coefficient, B is negative 2, and C is negative 5. So let us multiply A and C, which is 3 times negative 5 is equal to negative 15, and your middle term is negative 2. So let's find the two numbers that multiply AC and gives us a sum of b which is negative 2. So let's start with 1, 1 times 15 and then 2, it's not divisible. How about 3? Yes, we have 3 times 5. Now ac is negative and the sum is negative. If you remember the rule in addition, if they have different signs, subtract and copy the sign of the bigger number and the bigger number here is 15 and 5 so therefore these are negative so let's add 1 plus negative 15 is negative 14 so therefore these are not the numbers that we are looking for how about 3 plus negative 5 this is negative 2 so therefore the two numbers that multiply AC and add to B are 3 and negative 5. Then let's use those numbers to split the X term. So let's copy the first term which is 3P squared and split negative 2P using plus 3. And the variable is P. The other one is minus 5. P and copy the last term which is negative 5. Step 3, use the grouping to factor the quadratic expression and group the first term together and the second term as well. And then third and fourth, negative 5p minus 5. And then find the GCF of 3p squared plus 3p and that's obviously 3p. 3p squared divided by 3p is p. 3p divided by 3p is positive 1. How about the GCF of negative 5p minus 5? That is negative 5. Negative 5p divided by negative 5 is simply p. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is equal to positive 1. And the final answer is, since p plus 1 is common, we factor that out. And the remaining terms are 3p and negative 5. So therefore, the factors of 3p squared minus 2p minus 5 is this. If you want to check if the answer is correct, you can use FOIL or multiply to see if this is the product. Next example. Factor 2n squared plus 5n plus 2. So first thing, multiply a and c. a is 2 and c is 2. So that is 4. So our goal is to find two numbers that multiply ac that gives us a sum of b, which is 5. So our ac is 4 and b is 5. Factors, let's start with 1. 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 plus 4 
is equal to 5. Okay, so you don't need to list down all the factors of 4 because it's already the two numbers that we are looking for. So copy the first term, 2n squared, split the middle term using 1 and 4. So this will be 1n or just simply n and 4 plus 4n and copy the last term 2. Then group the first term and the second term together and group third and fourth term together as well. Then find the GCF of 2n squared plus n, that is n, and 2n squared divided by n is 2n, and divided by n is 1. GCF of 4n plus 2 is 2, 4n divided by 2 is 2n, 2 divided by 2 is 1. One. And therefore, the factors are 2n plus 1 is common, so we factor that out and put the remaining terms together. We have n and plus 2. So this is our answer. Again, check to see if that is equal to 2n squared plus 5n plus 2. Factor 7a squared plus 53a plus 28. So let us multiply a and c. a is 7 and c is 28, which is equal to 196. So what are those two numbers? When you multiply is equal to 196 and when you add is equal to 53. So ac equals 196. And B is 53. So let's start with 1. 1 times 196. And if you add, that is 197. Alright, next. Is 196 divisible by 2? Yes, so this is 2 times 98. And if you add, this is 100. And these are not the numbers that we are looking for. Is 196 divisible by 3? No. How about by 4? Yes. So that is 4 times 49. If you add, this is equal to 53. And therefore, these two numbers that gives us 196 and 53 are 4 and 49. Copy the first term, 7a squared. Split the middle term using 4 and 49, so this will be plus 4. The variable is a. 49, this will be plus 49, variable a. And then copy the last term, which is 28. Group the first and second term together. 7a squared plus 4a. And then third and fourth term, 49a plus 28. And GCF of 7a squared plus 4a is a. Then 7a squared divided by a is 7a. 4a divided by a is, of course, 4. And 49 and 28, GCF is 7. 49a divided by 7 is 7a. 28 divided by 7 is equal to 4. And then 7a plus 4 is common, factor it out, so 7a plus 4 times the remaining terms are a and 7. And therefore, the factors of 7a squared plus 53a plus 28 are 7a plus 4, a plus 7, and check it out using FOIL or any other method. Then, how about the factors of 5x squared minus 18x plus 9? Multiply a and c again. This is a times c. a, which is 45. Okay. And then b is negative 18. So what are the factors? Let's start with 1. 
1 times 45, 2 is not, so 3 times 15, 4 is not, 5 times 9. This is positive and this is negative. If we add two numbers with the same sign, like negative is negative, and if we multiply two numbers, therefore, both are negative. And then, negative 1 plus negative 45 is negative 46. Negative 3 plus negative 15 is negative 18. And we found those two numbers. And we will use negative 3 and negative 15 to split the middle term. So copy 5x squared, use minus 3. The variable is x, use minus 15, x, and copy the last term. Group the first and second term together, 5x squared minus 3x. Third and fourth, negative 15x plus 9. GCF of 5x squared minus 3x is x, and this is 5x minus 3. GCF is negative 3. So this will be 5x minus 3. And therefore, factor out common term 5x minus 3 times x minus 3. And these are the factors. Check it out to see if it's correct. And lastly, factor 4n squared minus 15 minus 25. And as you can see, 4 times negative 25 is equal to negative 100. And the middle term is negative 15. So let's start with 1. 1 times 100. 2 times 50. Is 3 divisible? No. How about 4? Yes. So 4 times 25. How about 5? Yes. 5 times 20. This is negative and the sum is negative as well, so this will be negative. Let's add. This is negative 99, this is negative 48, negative 21, and negative 15. So, two numbers that multiply AC and add to be are 5 and negative 20. Copy the first term, 4n squared. Split negative 15 by using plus 5n and negative 20n. And copy the last term, 25. Then combine first and second term together. 4n squared plus 5n and negative 20n minus 25. Then 4n squared plus 5n, GCF is n. So this will be 4n plus 5. And lastly, this will be negative 5 and 4n plus 5. And the final answer, factor out common term, 4n plus 5 and multiply it by the remaining terms, n minus 5. And therefore, the final answer is 4n plus 5 times n minus 5. If you think that this video helped you, please consider yourself subscribed. And thank you for watching. Keep safe and God bless you all. Bye!